Hello everybody, Max Scoville here. I'm at New York Comic Con with Scott Calora. You just got out of the panel for Legion, which is the new FX series that's kind of sort of rooted in the X-Men universe. Yes. What's going on with this? What did kind, you see? Kind of sort of. Well, I just have to start off by saying that it, they played 20 minutes of the first episode and I was really floored by it. It, it looks really, really good. It's uh, this is The showrunner on this is Noah Hawley, who's the guy who made Fargo for FX. We've had two seasons of Fargo, which has been critically acclaimed yep. and, and everyone loves it. And, uh, and this seems to be following, based on the 20 minutes we saw, this seems to be following in that same level of quality. This is like- That's um, so good to hear. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it felt like a feature film okay. in a way, what we saw. Yeah, yeah so what, what did you see? What's the, what's the setup here? Basically, we have we have uh, David Hall, Hall, David Haller, I think yeah, is I think that how you yeah. pronounce it. I've always he, read it in comics. Yeah, so yeah. So he's the character Legion in the X Men comics, who's the son of, of Xavier, and his pa he has this insane like Omega level mutant power where he has crazy psychic abilities, right. and uh, he abs he can telepathically absorb uh, thoughts from all over the place. He um, he kind of winds up with split personalities. He's he is Legion. Right. He's like um, what is it like 16, 17 personalities? Something like, something? like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we don't, didn't get into to that specifically here, but we do the most of what we were shown is him living in an insane asylum because everyone thinks he's crazy. Okay, and, and really, he, and they, he clearly has powers because at one point he has a nightmare and his bed levitates because of the nightmare okay. and then comes crashing down. And that's really um, cool. I mean, yeah. honestly, in, in, in the comics, he's first introduced as being kind of locked up in an asylum on, right. like, on Muir Island. And like, uh, what's the sense? Is is this the X Men universe or is it like how does this fit in? You know. So uh, they they did address that and they said that. Uh, it's definitely going to be connected in some way, even, but they wouldn't be specific. The, the way that the show is being uh, shot is it's basically being told from his perspective. So as a viewer, you're not always sure what's real or not. So uh, like for example, at one point he's being interviewed by a doctor and we see that in the corner of the room there are just these random people sitting there laughing. And he's oh, the only, weird. he and the audience are the only ones who see that, no one else okay. does. So it's hard to know what's real or what's not real. And apparently that's going to play into how they kind of attach it to the X-Men movie universe. Like like maybe it's attached to the or uh, connected to the X-Men movie universe right. maybe it's not uh, but as they go along they're going to kind of uh, get give a more definitive answer but they're definitely connecting it in some way okay uh, did they make any uh, comment on whether or not this is going to be like an ongoing like serialized series or is it going to take the approach that Fargo did where it's more kind of like each season is its own individual they thing. didn't get into that we know that it's an eight episode series right now and it's going to be a self-contained story about david and um this girl he meets in the asylum who, who apparently disappears at some point in the season and who he's in love with and is trying to hunt down and him trying to i think come to terms with his powers they they do say the word mutant in okay. the in the trailer which we saw a couple months ago and and yeah. in this episode as well uh and they acknowledge that he's a that he doesn't know this but people talking about him say he's a mutant okay and so i think it's in part going to be him coming to terms with his powers realizing he's not just crazy that he actually has these amazing abilities I mean this sounds this sounds really cool because it's like it's it's rooted in the you know X-Men lore but it's kind of a, a off the beaten path enough character that you can take some liberties with it without really yeah. you know screwing things up and I mean DC's already demonstrated that you can have uh, simultaneous cinematic and TV universes and yeah. you know not confuse too many people uh, do we have an idea when this is gonna air no not yet we know it's 2017 they haven't specifically gotten into a, an air date yet uh, but I, one other thing we should just point out real quick is that they were asked multiple times during the fan Q&A whether or not Professor Xavier right. will somehow show up because he's his David's dad uh, and they they didn't say Xavier will definitely be there but they said you can't uh, tell this story without acknowledging where he came from so cool well I, I would love to see a, a high-end X-Men TV show yeah. and if that's what this winds up being that's awesome seems I, like it yeah. I love Fargo uh, yeah, we've got lots more coverage coming out of New York Comic Con. Scott, thank you for taking a minute to Thank talk you. about this. Uh, Legion, keep an eye out for it. We'll have more right here on IGN.